Pretty much everyone is asking high school grads the same question. Where are you going to college? Of course, it's pretty great if you can say Harvard or Georgetown, but those big names come with big price tags. Every year, students give in to the hoopla around the name of the college, the prestige of the football team, or even how it ranks on the list of party schools. But are we too caught up in the idea of college rather than the school itself? Ultimately, the story was meant to sort of start a conversation about the way young people shop for a university education. And I tried to deliver that story through my own experience with NYU, which was that, um, you know, I was probably a little too young to be making the decision to go to school in the big city. I thought I wanted a certain kind of experience. And when I graduated, I ended up graduating with a fair number of regrets because I didn't end up getting the experience that I originally wanted. And I think that um, making that decision based on emotional factors um, can be pretty dangerous when people are borrowing such substantial sums of money to finance education now. I think I would have um, wanted someone to have a more frank discussion with me about um, what's available at any number of more affordable state universities. Um, I think a lot of people put a lot to store, like you said, by the name by the supposed experience, by the location, when you can get a perfectly good education at a more affordable state institution like Indiana University, which is one of the schools that I mentioned in my article, Michigan State, Virginia Tech, any number of schools. Um, my dad always says that uh, you're fine if no one has to ask where you went to school. So as long as it's I mean, clear, I think you can get uh, a pretty quality education at any number of schools across the nation. And what really needs to happen is what kind of conversation you should have is the conversation should be sooner. Most students begin the conversation with their parents and their counselors about uh, choosing college around 11th grade. And in reality, that discussion in order to be effective should really begin around seventh grade. And it should focus on why you're going to college in the first place. Mm -hmm. What's nice about choosing, about having a conversation around seventh or eighth grade is that you're able to talk to students about what's the purpose of college before they start to really become falling in love with particular schools, before they get a lot of mail that, that they get when the ICT comes in, but before they really start to get a sense of what's out there in terms of names, they have a chance first to find out and explore what are the possibilities for college? Why, why do people go to college? What kind of colleges are there? If you have that kind of discussion and then you also support that by talking about the qualities that the person is looking for in a college, you start that in seventh grade, then all of a sudden the cost discussion in 10th and 11th grade becomes much easier because it's not based solely on price tag, it's based on what we call fit, which is where the student finds a number of colleges from a wide variety of price ranges that will meet their needs. And that's a much easier conversation.